At least uh, one in a lifetime, like she said. Yes! Oh, I just picked up! Oh, Lisa! What? What? Oh, oh, she's raging! Where did you. She's raging! You weren't in front of me! <laughs> she's raging! Hey, Don, how you doing? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Hump Day Show. I'm Jerks. And uh, today's a special episode. We got. We got my, our mate, our buddy, our pal, our amigo <laughs> from across the pond, ladies and gentlemen, J64. 64. What's up, man? Good hey, work, man. How you work. doing? Oh, hard work. And hey. also JP. How are you, bro? JP's here, too. Don't worry about JP. Good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. It looks like we're worldwide. We were in Canada last time. Now oh, we're, my God. Uh, now we're Come on, Canada. <laughs> yeah, Canada. Oh, well, baby. <laughs> Yeah, no, we hey, we were, we're, we had an interview with another uh, podcaster. Uh, his cousin has a podcast, and he's running it out of Canada. And like, we were talking to them, and honestly, like, they're like, I listen to their podcast. Their slang, their slang, it's I hate it. <laughs> they're like, you know, we do those things, man. I'm like, bro, stop, bro, stop. You're not. Stop. I don't know. I, when I when I hear their podcast, I'm like, they try too hard. I think, but I really? think it's just because I I think I like it. Different but, country. Yeah, I just think. I think they're like the the terminology, the, the way they speak, because they're in Canada. I I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't vibe with them. But they're meant, they're meant to be nicer <laughs> than you guys, aren't they? They're meant to be nicer. They're way nicer. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, they are way nicer. <laughs> yeah, but right. F that. Yeah, we're not right. here to talk about them. Jay, dude. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for uh, popping up on here. Uh, you you yes, asked sir. me to get on. I was like, what? Like I didn't know you know you wanted to do anything like this. I was like, that's fine, hell yeah. Like uh, pff, more than merry, you know what I mean. But I appreciate you reaching out and, and like wanting to come on. Uh, I, I for sure want to do like more stuff like this with people, especially in the in the gaming community or the streaming community, like or, or uh, content creation just all together. Uh, I think it's awesome. Yeah. So uh, first of all, I wanted to ask you, Jay, uh, can we get your real name? <laughs> Or is that like uh, elusive? Like NBA? no, it's not secret. It's not secret. No, it's uh, it's just James. That's all. It's, it's James. nothing exciting. It's just James. It's James. It's just James. All right, dude. All right. Well, tell us about yourself. Tell us about how you the rise from from Mixer to Twitch and uh, how is everything going in your life, dude? Oh wow. From Mixer to Twitch. So uh, yeah, I guess I uh, I started streaming in January and I started on Mixer because it was easier because uh, I only had an Xbox at the time. So it's literally Xbox and just a TV, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, I, I was really enjoying it, y you know, at the start, zero viewers, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they're like, oh, this is great. I'm going to be ugly the next ninja. <laughs> and, uh, you know? <laughs> no, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, I feel like that's what kind of like everybody wants to do, especially like, like, yeah, you yeah. want to, you want to do like your own thing on Twitch and you feel like you're, you're just like different enough to do it and like, you know, stream it and whatnot. And you, you're hoping people will come watch you and whatnot. But honestly, like, like seeing your streams and seeing how like you've been growing, I'm like, holy hell, where's my notepad? Like, I need to take some goddamn <laughs> notes. Like, I'm not kidding, dude. Like, I brag about you all the time to my girlfriend. I'm like, bro, thank God he lives in the UK because you'll probably be all over his D. I don't want to talk about that, though. And I was like, yeah, this dude, like, I, I, I don't know. He's killing it. Like, I, he, she's like, I'm telling you, you better take notes. I'm like, I'm not. I'm not, like, slacking on that. I am taking notes. But, yeah, like, uh, so... You started streaming in January. You, you started up Mixer. What made you move from Mixer to Twitch? Um, I think it was for me. There was lots of talks about Mixer uh, and their like their, their fan base, and there wasn't many people on there. And from being on there a couple of months, you could see there really wasn't. So I'd get people come back, and, and that was brilliant. Um, but there was yeah. never really any new people. Like, uh, did, did you guys ever go on Mixer? I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a friend I, of yeah. I, I've only been on Mixer once. I, I just didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I don't know much about the freedom in Mixer or the freedom in Twitch. Like I was hoping after you, you of course, inform us on, on how you switched to Twitch. Like what, what freedoms do you find different in Twitch than so, you would in Mixer? So like the, the biggest thing I liked on Mixer was they had a hype zone, um, mm. which was, you know, if for the games I played anyway, uh, so I, I mainly played Apex back then. If you got to top three, there was a chance the hype zone could come into your channel and they'd host you and oh. there'd be like typically a hundred oh, wow. people. 
watching. Um, and it didn't matter how big a streamer you are. You you know, you, you could be Ninja. Ninja could get Hype Zone. Or you could be like a brand new streamer. Mm-hmm. And you get like 100 people come watch you for like the last five, 10 minutes of your game. Guaranteed you'd always lose because, you know, the pressure, <laughs> the pressure. of watching you. <laughs> Guaranteed. Um, so I, I really like that because that's where I got a lot of followers from. But then equally, that is where you get, I, I found afterwards that you got a lot of dead followers from. The people wouldn't watch you again. Like oh, they just hit yeah. follow because mm-hmm. of Hype Zone stuff, you know? Um, but yeah. apart from that, like, um, I, I switched to Twitch yet yeah, because a lot of my friends had already switched. A lot of people were already on Twitch. And every time I tried to do something interesting in my stream, be that, yeah. uh, integrate something, mm-hmm. um, it was a lot harder for Mixer. There was always, uh, you'd have to watch about eight YouTube videos instead of one yeah. um, just to get the work. And uh, yeah, I made the decision to switch and I was arming and ahhing about when to do it because I didn't have a PC at the time. So mm. I knew I, I needed to get a PC. And um, yeah, uh, I, I mean, COVID happened, which of course, yeah. was obviously really bad. But that gave me loads of time on my hands. I was like, well, it's, I might as well do it now. You know, mm-hmm. so I, I did it. And then I, I was quite lucky that I did it because eight weeks later, uh, Mixer closed down. Yeah, I was um, about to say, I think Mixer just closed down this past yeah. week. It's RIP now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, rumor has it it's because I left. Yeah, yeah, rumor has it it's because I left, you know, like wow. I left okay. and Mixer just went I know we're here to talk about you and hype you up right now, but come on, bro. Stop. <laughs> but uh, I was going to ask you, actually, I think you just saw, you just said it, but uh, I was gonna ask you what actually like brought you to start streaming, like just streaming on its own. Like, what were you doing prior to streaming? What was Jay doing, like before he was uh, Jay sixty four? You know what I mean? I was playing a lot of games, and I was playing with a lot of people that streamed, um, and they were getting one two viewers, and they were like, "Oh, you should do it, you should do it," like because I'm okay at Apex, and they were like, you know, people enjoy watching you, and I was like, for a long time, I never understood the the point of doing it or the reason of doing it i didn't really watch many streamers myself yeah. i was like i'll just go play the game you know mm-hmm. like if i like that game yeah. I'll go play. um it got to the point where they kept nagging me to do it and i was like oh okay i'll do it but i'm the type of person that if i'm gonna do it i want to put my all into it right so uh, i agreed in like november that i'd do it but i wanted to get a logo and set myself up do a little bit of research and then you know um the big day came in january and i started and i you know, I got like one view or something. Um, mm-hmm. But to me, though, I was I was really nervous. I remember my first stream, I, I turned my camera on. I'd like psyched myself out for it. And <laughs> I really enjoyed it. But it was yeah. a big step for me. Um, but it made me sort of understand uh, why people enjoy, you know, why people like watching yeah. streaming. Streamers. Yeah, honestly, like turning on the camera initially, especially for me for the first time in front, like to have the camera staring at me, it was a little bit like, like I was self-conscious about it. But honestly, once you start yeah. doing it for a while, you're like, oh, yeah, we have a camera on myself. Like, yeah, you, you yeah, start yeah, doing yeah, some dumb sure. shit in front of it, too. You're like, oh, fuck. I, got, I mean, especially me. I do some dumb shit in front of it. I'm just like, oh, shit, I need to catch myself for it. I get in trouble here at TOS <laughs> real quick. But uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, go ahead. So are you, Jay, are you doing this full time? Like, this is like, like, did you, or you still work part time and you got your own stuff on the side? Or this is just something that was just a project? Or how do you view your, your Twitch? Uh, so, stream? uh. It started off as it was just me something fun just to mm-hmm. do with my friends. And we started, to begin with, we started like a streaming team, which in hindsight, you know, if I could give advice to anyone, don't do that. That's a bad idea. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like a terrible idea. But it, really um, it started out just, you know, a bit of fun with some friends and stuff. And the more and more I enjoyed it, I was like, actually, I, I do want to do it. They stopped doing it because, you know, they just weren't enjoying it anymore. Um, for a little while, I kept saying to my girlfriend, I was like, oh, yeah, I want to do this full time. And she's like, you know, it's probably two three maybe four years away and i was like yeah yeah it is and i don't know since we moved to twitch it's it's become more realistic and um we've said we've got like an 18 month plan now that uh the hope is by the end of 2021 that uh, i've gone full time so it's gone from being Mm. something that's a bit of a project to actually okay yeah i want to make this full time not like ninja state i mean ninja state would be amazing but you know being realistic i I, I know just a job you know yeah like for me honestly I don't like going to my regular day to day job. Like, even though right now it's a necessity because obviously I have a fucking bills, a house, <laughs> yeah, car, yeah, yeah. Uh, credit card I just paid off. Like, I have like, uh, you know, adulting things I need to catch up on. And like, for me, honestly, as long as I, I would love to be a full time content creator, I would love to have it to where like I'm just streaming and making videos for YouTube. 
and and like that's my that's my job quote unquote job you know what i mean that's my career yeah because honestly like i it, it's so much fun it's great to express yourself to to do things that make people that people enjoy watching like like i i get that part and like it's just like it's crazy how some people can do it and like you, you see like raw talent in some people and but they don't yeah. like meet their full like like uh potential but with you, I, I, I see it like we're like you you just got here from Mixer and you're killing it, dude. Like you're already at 420 followers, blaze it. Um, and like like you're just continually growing. And like and like I, I appreciate you like like wanting to be here too, because if anything, honestly, like in the grander uh, uh, spec of things, it's more exposure. It's 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 good to like get your name out there. Yeah. And like that's that's smart. Like even though like, you know, some of the things we don't want to talk about because it becomes like taboo and it's just like just doing it for the money it's not that like it, it's it's trying to get your reach out there because there's so many streamers there's yeah so many people trying i mean to do the same thing and yeah like i i, I like i appreciate the, your grind dude like really like i'm yeah. looking up to you like no bullshit like for real <laughs> i appreciate <laughs> it well, man. What, what i can say for my part is i've never been into watching other people play i never have like it's never been yeah. my thing but uh, ever since we started talking about this whole podcast and and and, and yes, it's gone to streaming, and you know, oh, for example, like I <laughs> I actually started like watching old videos of like Doctor Disrespect, and like I can see Damn, why RIP. people follow him, <laughs> like that, like he's hilarious, he's funny, like stuff like that, and I'm starting to see now the aspects of it. I I don't think I could ever do it. Uh, because my personality, I'm too uh, dirty in the mouth uh, to even do any of that stuff, and I like my freedom to express myself. I feel like yeah. Twitch, uh, Twitch has now put like a whole bunch of like bars around or chains around what you can do and what you can say. So I, my respect to people who can do that. I, I don't think I could do that, but like like I said, I think it takes a lot of courage to go ahead and hopefully it works out for you. you get that full time, man. Like I'll, I'm always down for people because it's basically entrepreneurship. You're, you're promoting mm -hmm. yourself. You're yeah, selling yourself. Sure. So I think that that takes a lot of balls. So I'm always, I always hope people whenever they, they do that to, to do great and mm -hmm. to, uh, and especially when they're giving it their all. Yeah, yeah, no, for for for, for real, it is um definitely uh it, it's something you're selling yourself. It, it, same as a a business. Hey, you know. <laughs> you're, you're, when you're selling a business, you know, a lot of time people won't invest in a brand new business. You could have the most sound uh, business plan in the world, um, but if you come across really dry and and maybe not trustworthy or something like that, no one will invest mm -hmm. in you. You could have a bit of a dodgy business plan. But actually, you as a character, they'll go, I will invest in you, not the business plan. I'm investing in you because I believe you can do it. Um, I think it's the same with streaming, you know. You could be an absolute GOAT player. If you're boring as to watch, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not that fun. <laughs> like, um, I mean, that resounds for me because, uh, what was it? The other day, my last stream was probably mm -hmm. the worst I've ever played, ever. Whoa, like, wow. Literally, I kept I kept dropping and dying. I was in the lobby every two minutes. I was getting mm. so frustrated. <laughs> oh, but dude! Viewer-wise, you, you don't get frustrated. Did like you cut I your hand like Aaliyah? Yeah. Did you cut <laughs> your hand like Aaliyah? <laughs> My dumbass, dude! I, I've been playing the shit out of fucking Hyperscape, and like I have zero wins in that game, and it's beyond pissing me off now. And like <laughs> recently, this past week, I was streaming. And like it just full tilt, like full tilt. I I grab my flute. Where's my flute? Oh, here you just touched it. I broke my flute. My flute. R I P. My flute. It broke. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> it's falling apart, dude. And like I broke, I broke my headphone stand, but that was already breaking. And I was like, I don't care. But I got a new one. And then, <laughs> and then I was like, dude, I was so mad. Like I. I I was like, I can't believe I've been playing this game for almost nonstop for two weeks. And like, I still haven't gotten one damn win. And it, it was like infuriating. <laughs> and I broke my shit, dude. I literally broke it. Yeah. And then like, because I broke the, the flu, like it ended up giving me a cut, like on my finger, like a pretty bad gash, to be honest. And then I come back to my, to my table, whatever. And I'm, I'm still streaming, you know, <clears throat> everybody's loving the fucking rage. And then I'm just like, all right, <laughs> like ignore chat right now. Cause they're trying to roast me. <laughs> you know, I'm ignoring chat. I'm like, I don't want to hear you right now. And then I'm like putting my hand down and I'm just like, I see blood on my table. I was like, fuck. <laughs> and then I ended up getting blood like on my table, on my ears. Yeah. Like I have these ears for like channel redemptions and like, oh, man, it was bad. But then like, but I don't know. People liked watching it, but yeah. But you were saying about that moment though. 
Uh, yeah, so I was just saying, like, it was probably the worst I've ever played. Yeah. But, uh, like, viewer-wise, it's literally my best. You know, I hit I hit max, uh, I hit PB on my max viewers. I hit 41. Nice. I hit a P- oh, wow. PB on my average. My average viewers are 33. And I honestly, when I say I didn't get more than three kills in Apex, like, and I was yeah. just like, oh, my God. Like, I was getting so annoyed. I, I stopped the stream early. But I, we went for three <laughs> hours. And then, I know what of a lie, the first game after stream, me and the guys playing, we were playing duos. We hit 21 between us, and we won, like, hands down. And uh, I was like, where the fuck was that? Like, where the fuck was that 10 minutes ago? Yeah, yeah. Like, come on. So, <laughs> and I was so like, Jay, what, what are you watching? Why are you watching me? <laughs> so, Jay, what, what games do you like to play most? To, to Like, what games do you think bring more viewership in regards to, is it, like, more uh, third-person shooters? Uh, what do you think brings a lot of people to your channel to view the games that you play? Uh, for real, it is most definitely Mario Kart. Without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> wow. Mario Kart. What the? Okay. Explain. So, yes. so yes. we we started. Uh, we got into Mario Kart Monday because my girlfriend was umming and ahhing about whether she wants to stream. She's a gamer as well, so I'm super mm-hmm. lucky that uh, she games as well. Um, and she was umming and ahhing whether or not she wants to do it. And I said to her, "Well, why don't we do a joint stream? You know, for a couple of uh, times, and you can see how you find it being in camera because obviously it is." It is different, and I'm lucky enough to have people chat to me so mm-hmm. uh, she can get used to that. Right. Um, and she's like, yeah, sure. Uh, so we had to play a game that we could do together. Um, and so the Switch came up because we can play that together. And I was like, oh, well, let's play Mario Kart, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I, the first time ever playing, you know, I've been a first-person streamer, first-person shooter streamer since January. Mm-hmm. Chuck Mario Kart, and it was my uh, the first Mario Kart Monday was my best stream. Like I'd ever had, oh, wow. like it was, it was blowing up. I was getting like follows and subs, and I was like, I'm not even good at this game. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Honestly, I was supposed to like last, and yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, and it's become like a set fiction now. And um, I've met people, but I wouldn't have met through first person shooters because right. it's a super engaging game. People wanting to come and play with us. They're like, oh, can we join? Because I don't know if you play Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. have open lobbies, and I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. I don't care. Like, come, come play. Um, and so since then, that's, that's probably my most engaging stream. That and Animal Crossing. What? Oh God! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Dude, you no! you you had us up until you said Animal Crossing. No. Like yeah. Like for real. I've only I've only done one. <laughs> He's like, you're making I, him break stuff now too. <laughs> yeah. No. I, ah! I've done I've done one stream on Animal Crossing, right? Yeah. And it was so engaging. Yeah. I think it's just I don't think it's necessarily those games. It's just the games that can be engaging with your viewers. Yeah. So it's cool to watch someone play Valorant. It's cool to watch someone play Apex. But how long do you realistically want to watch them for? You know, 20, 30 minutes tops, and then you get a bit bored. That's true. Something that they can join in on, you know, like like Mario Kart, for example, and they can come and race the streamer and they can give you abuse. They're like, ha ha, I beat you again. Or, you know, I can give them abuse. And I'm like, if you beat me again, I'm gonna ban you from chat. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. Um, th- they like that, and it, by without a shadow of a doubt, Mondays are my best yeah. dream. Mario Kart Monday wow. is my best dream. I, I've been Can honestly, I... I I regret like selling my Switch to buy the act that Behringer that you you I was pointing at. <laughs> I I sold my Switch to buy that audio interface, you know, to for better audio quality for streaming and for the podcast yeah. and. And, like, at that time that I sold it, there wasn't really any, like, games I really wanted to play on the Switch. So I was like, whatever, I don't give a shit. But, like, now, like, dude, I, you don't know how bad I want to play fucking Mario Maker 2. Like, I really want to play yeah. that game. And who is this? Hi, Cleo. Who's that? Who is it? Come on. <laughs> See, Come that, on. That's, that's a real, t- a real attention grabber right there. Yeah, Cleo. she is. <laughs> Come on here, darling. Come on. Come say hello. Oh, yeah. There we go. Who is that? Hey, who's that? You famous? Don't get JP hey? any you ideas. Got... He has two two dogs himself. What 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 are they? Do you have two? I have two two corgis. Two corgis. corgis. That's right. Ah, okay, cool. Well, this is Cleo. Yeah. She is uh, she is very prominent on all my stream stuff. She's part of my mm-hmm. logo. Uh, my Discord <laughs> is Cleo's Cookie Jar. She's yep. all of my emotes. Um. And yeah, I think people like you have your ears to redeem on stream. <laughs> uh, I, I have Cleo, you know, people redeem her so much to get her on stream. Hey, speaking That's, of the, uh, the cookie jar, I got to ask you, like, I see this shit all the time on your stream. I have no idea what's yeah. going on. 
what the hell is out all that stuff that like at one point like i'm watching your stream and then all of a sudden your chat will go crazy with like like cookie emotes i'm like i don't understand yeah. like where like is there like some kind of cult that you're trying to create here like i don't understand some what's going cult. like i don't understand what's going on with all these damn cookies that are popping up on stream and then you're like here take some cookies i'm like what <laughs> what is that is that like uh some type type of like point redemption you're doing like what is that yes yeah, so it's like uh it, it's just a loyalty point thing oh, okay okay um, so they're all called all my um, followers and I are just called cookie munchers. So mm -hmm. they all eat cookies because who doesn't like fucking eating cookies, you know? <laughs> um, who, whoever earns the most amount of cookies at the end of the month is the cookie monster. Mm -hmm. uh, and they get a prize. And it depends oh. on the game that they play. So like, say you played, uh, you know, FIFA, you get um, $10 or £10 worth of FIFA points. Oh, nice. Uh, say so, like whatever game you play, you know, if it's Apex or Valorant or uh, whatever game it is, whoever's mm. the cookie monster can choose. And if they don't play games, because I've actually got a few people that now watch me that don't play, mm. which is really cool. Yeah. Um, you can, I've had people donate to charity. I've right. had people had £10 Amazon vouchers. So literally you, you can have them whatever you want. Basically. Right, right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I see that. I see those cookies all the time, but now I'm going to have to be more involved in that. <laughs> like, instead of just lurking. <laughs> but honestly, though, like, since, I mean, obviously there's a time difference. Uh, uh, for me, while you're streaming nowadays is usually when I might work. So like it yeah. sucks. Like I'm not able to like watch the streams anymore. But um, yeah, that's something I need to go look into too. I'm telling you, dude, this dude has like ideas on top of ideas. Oh, but <laughs> speaking of your girlfriend though, or is a girlfriend a wife? I'm sorry, girlfriend, girlfriend, my girlfriend, but soon to be wife. Don't put those ideas in her head. But soon to be wife, right? Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> uh, is she is she gonna be involved too in terms of doing her own streaming stuff, or is that even like a thought in her head yet? It is definitely a thought in her head. So we've had some real long conversations about mm -hmm. uh, if she was to do it um, about the branding. We decided that um, I mean this is top secret, so we've not actually told anyone else yet oh. that she would have a real real similar brand to me. So Exclusive. pretty much my logo, she'd uh, she'd switch out me and put her her in. But still have the dog, and then her name. She her name is Jazz Night Free, which is really cool. Mm. Um, so you know we just changed that to just say Jazz Night Free, have the same overlays, but change the logos around. She'd use the same emotes and, right. and the cookies and all that sort of stuff. So we can make uh, you know bigger picture. We can make a brand and we can make a sellable brand of course. rather than us t trying to make two separate brands. Um, we will we will Actually, have a that, singular that is... brand. The, uh, I'm glad you said that because that is not a terrible idea. I've seen it at work already. I've seen it working right now. I don't know if you know yeah. this other streamer called Rock Dad. I think his name is Rock Dad 84 or something like that. But no. he he initially was streaming on his own. You know he he has a good like viewage, good following, huge numbers of followers. Uh, but he his wife, you know, yeah, he he actually like encouraged her to do it, but she didn't want to do it. Like she she literally did not want to do it. But now Rock Mom 84, 85, I forgot her name. Now she has her own stream. Dude, it's it's bigger than his. <laughs> like, yeah. like her stream is popping off. She's 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 kinda like I, I he, yeah, well Rock uh Rock Dad, he's a he's a military guy. So he you know he has the <laughs> yeah, look yeah. and he kinda like has that vibe. But his streams were originally like uh uh kid friendly. He, he like that's how I met him as a kid friendly streamer. And, but now, yeah. like his his channel is growing, uh, he has his uh, his wife now. Like, uh, like it, it's incredible, like how they have it now. Only because, like, like their stream setup now is crazy cool. Like, he they, yeah. they 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 he used to have his own like office where he streamed. He had like this Elgato green screen behind him playing whatever. Now, like they have this huge room for themselves. The desk is like huge. They have both of their setups there. They got cameras behind them whenever they're like co-streaming or whatnot. Like it, it, it's it's so fucking cool. I'm like, damn. Only my girlfriend likes to stream. She don't she don't like video games like that. Yeah. I'm like, damn, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. She she's been killing it too, like on her own. Yeah, yeah no, I, for, I don't, for real. I don't think I'd be if I streamed. I'd be kid friendly. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I mean he was in the in the beginning, but he slowly moved off of the kid friendliness. Like now he's yeah. like more of his own, like uh, just doing his own thing now, like playing, like like she plays a lot of Tarkov and like he's starting to play like that kind of stuff too. But yeah, no, he 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 was like more kid friendly for a while, but I think he's kind of like kind of gone away from that nowadays, which is honestly probably better for him. I mean now that yeah. like. Like they're blowing up, like literally, like 
I'm trying to pull it up her stream right now so that people can see it on the on the YouTube side. But like it, it, it's it's pretty cool. Like, anyways, but yeah. So so there has been discussions of you guys doing it. If yeah, anything, for real. Like, if anything, wait, um, wait. I can send you like their stuff just so you can see like an idea, an example too of what they've been doing. Like it, yeah. it, it's 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 been working, dude. Like I can tell you that for sure. Yeah, no, mm. definitely, and it's something that we've we've spoken about for like our next house because we're due to move in January. Mm -hmm. About you know we we would need a room big enough for two PCs and stuff, and so it's definitely discussions. It's just one day she wants definitely wants to do it, and another day she's like, oh, I'm not sure I want to. And, <laughs> and, so we're gonna try and maybe get her as like a guest or mine to do like a, an hour or two hours. Yeah, pardon me, by herself. Mm. Just to see how it is, you know. Yeah, I mean, if, yeah. if anything, just like don't, of course, don't force her. <laughs> You're gonna start streaming now. <laughs> I don't care what you say. <laughs> I couldn't. You know, I couldn't force her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, see if she, if she, if she's into it. See if she feels like a vibe for her own type of stream. Like, yeah. Hopefully she does, and like, hopefully she's just as like, like on the grind as you are. Because, like, right now, I'm assuming she helps you out with your stream and everything. Uh, yeah, massively. Like, yeah. So, uh, uh, just imagine, like, you two working together, you know, feeding off each other's energy. Uh, and, like, I think that would be fantastic. Like, uh, that's that's another aspect of, like, uh, a stream, like, I would love to watch, too. You know what I mean? Especially with your, yeah. like, Mario Kart Mondays. Like, uh, imagine, like, both streaming together or, like, eventually even partners so you can have the fucking like screens actually showing together on Twitch yeah. while they have using yeah, like yeah. another third party app. Like, yeah, that, that, that would be very, very cool, dude. Yeah. No, that, that's hopefully the aim. Just have to see uh, if, if she's up for it. No, yeah, I mean, just force her. Fuck it. <laughs> 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 nah, but uh, let's see. Um, oh, uh, is there anything else you wanted to include on this? Like anything you want to like talk about? Anything you want to get off your chest? It's something exclusive. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything for us? I mean, we, we've been like, you know, chewing off your ear asking about you. For real? No, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's super cool. Like what, what made you guys start this uh, podcast? Oh, uh, Ooh, that was like, what, two years ago? Fuck, it sucks. Look, see, he's like, nah, I don't want to talk about this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he's like, I'm it, out. <laughs> yeah, it was like in 2018, August. Like, that's when we first started doing the podcast. Honestly, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I feel like, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, Does anyone? No. <laughs> no, like, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, like I just know I wanted to do it. And like, yeah. Now that we're doing it, we're kind of like in the full swing of things. Like we're kind of like, like you know, we know what we're doing. We know how to make the eggs and bacon, whatever. Like, but the thing is, for me, I I don't know how to do what you're doing in terms of advertising, marketing, uh, getting out there, getting new people to come on and watch your stuff. Like that, I I think for sure I'm feeling that. I think we all are on the podcast, but. Like it, 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 it's it's not taken away from the fact that it's actually fun for us to do it. Like I, I enjoy doing yeah. it. Like I love doing it. That's why like <clears throat> like as many headaches we get from doing it, like getting schedules down, getting people to uh do what they're say and he's gone. <laughs> and like all the other fun stuff, like um like I love doing it, dude. Like no matter what, like I, I wanna do it. It's just like just the growing part. Like I don't I don't know what to do. And like for yeah. a long time with the podcast, I was like, you know what? I would love just to be able to do this stuff in the background. Cause initially I didn't even want to be here, like talking and being in front of the camera. Like for me, I was like, I'm good. Just being in the background, being a producer, I'll put everything together. I'll edit your videos, get your audio good and put it out there for you. Like that's, that's initially my idea. I have a friend yeah. of mine that he's a teacher and uh, well, actually a professor. And like, he has his own YouTube channel where, you know, he, he's a, he's a math professor and he has his own YouTube channel and on there he has it where, um, massive following. He has like over 70,000 subscribers. Uh, obviously it's like, <clears throat> excuse me, mostly like his students are getting like yeah. information on the stream. I mean, on the stream, on the, on the class and whatnot. And like, it, it's, it's something I wanted to do like, uh, for him where I'm like, Hey, uh, let me, let me hop on uh, your YouTube channel and let me help you like grow it because his videos are super like simple, super dumbed down. Like, like not like really there's nothing much to them. I was like, if, if I can like do something for him where it makes it better, 
like then maybe like I can start something like a career from there and like use use that as a platform to start with. But I made a couple of videos for him, uh, made a new intro uh, and outro. And like, honestly, it was OK, but I, I didn't like the fact that it was like uh, not mine, to be honest, like it was somebody else's. So like I had to take the input from somebody else and hopefully yeah. what I created was good for enough for them to like and enjoy and put out yeah, there yeah, themselves. Yeah. So from there, like podcasting was just like, all right, I'm going to just continue doing it. Hopefully, you know, someday Joe Rogan asks us to get on his podcast or whatever. And then from <laughs> there, hopefully something knocks off. But honestly, like, like for real, like I, I, I just like, I'm just like in awe how you're like growing and you're blowing up. And top of that, I mean, we met each other through SRM gaming and like, yeah. Uh, actually, I do want to speak about that. How did they find you, or do you do find them? Uh, I found them through the Devo. I'm not sure if you've uh, spoken no. to him, but he's a, he's a, one of their streamers that uh, I was just playing at Apex with, you know, and mm -hmm. um, he always spoke about them, and it seemed like something good to do. And yeah. uh, I'd, I'd only just moved to Twitch. I think I sort of applied with all my Mixer stats and stuff because yeah. I, I was at like 300 uh, followers and stuff on Mixer and. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, on my Twitch, I had like 20. Um, yeah, yeah. So I, I went with my mix of stats. It was a little bit safer, but, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, no, that's that's how I got hold of them. And, you know, they seem like a nice bunch of guys all from Canada, aren't they? Nice people. Oh, Canada, yeah, they're, they? <laughs> yeah, they're from Canada. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> He's coming back. Here we go. Holy crap. But, uh, yeah, like, that's uh, it's interesting how, like, how we met from there. Ooh. And, like, like. I d I don't want to get too much like I don't want to be like certain drama or anything because really there is no drama to start. It's just like we were discussing about a lot of the things about being in an org. Is it worth being in an org? Is is there a real point to being in an org? And like yeah, uh, like oh what what is he doing? He's double screening. <laughs> and like honestly, like the the more I thought about it, the more I'm like I don't know. I think Jay's right. Like like you literally made me think about it. I was like. Like, should I do it in org? Like, I don't know if I should or not. Like, should I be here? Because honestly, I wasn't even thinking like that. Like, like, what are they doing for us? What are we doing for them? What, I, 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 I don't yeah. know. But uh, as of right now, like, what are your thoughts about it? Are you still like thinking about like like just staying, growing with them, or just uh, exploring other options? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm definitely probably thinking about exploring other options. Bec um, I'm a massive fan of Harris Heller. And I watch like nearly every video that he uploads. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I take loads of advice from him. So, you know, if you ever want advice on some of the stuff I've done, literally just watch about a hundred of his videos and you, then you Oh, sound. there we go. Okay, um, easy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, one of his most recent ones, he was saying like five real common mistakes about uh, new streamers and, and people trying to grow and stuff like that. And one of them was like joining an org. And he said that one of the, the, the biggest turnoffs for him on Twitter is when someone posts, um, I've joined at whatever org, and he's like, no one really cares. No one knows what, who that org is. He's right, like, right. It, it doesn't matter if, if you've applied to join the orgs. They didn't want you um, because they've not come and found you, which right. is maybe not the same for for everyone. Right. But um, if you've applied to join them, you are they are going to get more out of you than you are out. Of course. Yeah. If someone comes to you, you will get more. Uh, and that was the you know the way I just looked at it. He was then saying because he was having a conversation with. Um, his editor, I forget his name, but he's so funny, uh, Sam. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they were just talking about it, and, and they're like, you know, you'll promote them. They'll uh, normally uh, an org will expect you to tag them in tweets, to have that advertising on on your yep. Twitch, to have yep. advertising wherever. Right. And he's like, what what do you get from them? Maybe a retweet once a week or or whatever. He's like, unless mm -hmm. they're paying you, all it all you are doing is advertising for free to your community, be it, you know, 20 followers or a thousand followers, mm -hmm. it's free advertising. Um, but they're not necessarily always able to replicate that, you know? Right. They, and they, then you have to look at right. it. Sorry, go on, go on, go on. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, it's not a 50-50 thing. It's more, if anything, it's like 90-10. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's something like that. And then and then even maybe that one retweet, you have to look at how many followers they got. Okay, they may have 100,000 followers, but how many engagements do they get? Because mm. I, I had an argument with someone on Twitter. Well, not an argument, a disagreement the other day on Twitter. Someone said, oh, well, I've got more followers than you. Um, so it means I'm a bigger streamer than you. And he had like 1,000 right. followers. But he was following like 1,100 people. But his engagement level, he was getting like two retweets. And I was like, yeah, but, you know, you've got double what I've got. Mm. But I get like 20 retweets and 20 likes. So I'd argue that my <laughs> audience are more engaged than you. Mm -hmm. And I, I take the same with orgs. You know, an org could have 100,000 people following them. 
if you're getting 10 retweets from 100,000 people, that's like 0.01% right. of your audience is engaged. So um, that re that retweet, uh, is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> honestly, they, they, for me, that, that goes back to the <clears throat> followers on Twitch. Like, there's people literally just getting followers. They just want followers. They want to grow their follower number. And they assume growing their follower numbers and people coming to the stream for the first time and seeing how big that number is will assume like, oh, I got to join this stream. I got to watch this guy. He's entertaining because obviously all these people are following him. But no, for me, I feel like what I want at a, like, uh, like in terms of like what the stats would be is the viewership, the the engagement. Like I don't care. Like, yeah. like I told somebody, like I don't care if you follow me or not. Like if you're as long as you're watching and, and being entertained, that's cool. Like that's the best part because I can have 300 followers and then am I getting 300 viewers? No, like. Exactly. Yeah, like I, the numbers for the followership, like I don't care. Like it, it, it's cool that you follow me. I, I appreciate it. That means you're starting to become more engaged with the community. Perfect, whatever. But if you're like, for example, right now I'm doing, I do giveaways every month. And like, you know, this this month we did Ghost of Tsushima. And we got, we got like, I want to say I got like 10 followers and 15 followers off of just the ghost. And like, yeah. uh, I, I, we did the giveaway last Friday haven't heard from any of them they're all gone <laughs> like they were yeah. engaging in the raffles i think that's the the main issue i mm -hmm. think when you stream with when it's just you i think it's a little bit easier to find the engagement i think when you're doing a podcast like with several people it's a little bit harder i wish there was a way where they could communicate while the podcast is going on i think that'll I mean, be that'll be something really it. cool we but... could always do it live like on stream, like that's that. I'm assuming that's what Jay was assuming that we were gonna do. Yeah, was, was do this live. We, we, but the only thing about doing it live, because of some people that are a part of this art, this podcast, I can't trust them to be talking and not yeah not saying the wrong thing online. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> that's the true. only reason see, we see, don't do a live stream. Like honestly. See, yeah. Well, I think that with. With that too, it's because I don't know. I don't know how it's done in the UK, but uh, when I was coming up and I was seeing the first streams, you were a lot more open. You could say a lot of things that yeah. were just whatever. It was just the way you talked or the what your opinion. Now every little thing is scrutinized and is taken out of context. So that's what the issue we have doing live. Do you do because you have during... that? Like Jay, I'm sorry, JP, but do you have that in your head too about the uh, like how? Like for example, for me, how I talk on stream on on here and my, just the way I communicate is literally how I do it every day. Like, do you have that in your head too? Like, fuck, I gotta censor myself online, or or I gotta like um, ease, ease back on it. I think yeah, sometimes. I mean, so mm. I'm a squaddy. I don't know if you know. I'm in the British Army as well, mm. and so. What, the only thing I have to maybe uh, bring back a little bit is sometimes my sense of humor because uh, I don't know if it's like this in America, but British military sense of humor can be really dark, like, <laughs> like really, really dark. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of the times, you know, I'll, I'll think about that, but that's something I already think about because I have a lot of civilian friends mm -hmm. and something Ooh. that like the guys at work will find hilarious will go down like a lead balloon with like with my civvy mates. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think I already sort of, do that anyway but so i don't really think too much that much about what i'm doing uh i may be a little bit more hyperactive mm -hmm. um but i think <laughs> like i'm censored here i'm super yeah, censored. Here he's like, censored. Super, <laughs> super super censored because I, that, that's one of the things that that at first i really enjoyed was what i wanted was because i would see a lot of people be free to express themselves how they wanted and you know now that's changed a lot over the past couple of years i think that's changed a lot mm -hmm. i when i when, what made me want to do a podcast was just to have my opinion out there um and see if someone else had the exact same opinion to be honest and right now we're what it has to said is right i think one of the main things that has hindered us a bit is just the schedule i think the schedules of everybody um <clears throat> you know i if i if I could just work Monday through Friday, that would be great. But there's times where yeah. I have to work some random Saturdays or there are times that family events happen, circumstances that occur. And then, you know, it's just finding the time. I think that's been the issue. I, I think if, if I had, if we had done this in my twenties where I had yeah. like, no, <laughs> yeah, not really old, not dude. a stable job, <laughs> like, like just going to school, I, I, I probably would have been a lot more easier for me because I wouldn't have had it. Now it's like, I have to worry about these. Like, like Elias said, I have bills to pay. 
So yeah. I have yeah. to put those first. And then like I have family events, I have to put those first. So it's like it's a bit tragic. I, I would I'm hoping that with this whole coronavirus thing and I'm I'm already looking for a new job where I have a little yeah. bit more open window. Um, th- that that comes into effect because I really do want to put my efforts into it. That's why I want to get a PC because I want to <laughs> see what I can do. <laughs> Look, but, uh, this mean, is my. I mean, basically, that's that's our like our thing about the podcast is just like yes, we want to do it, and like. <laughs> <laughs> my hey. Where <laughs> Uh, hey, can I look who's that? It's another doggy. <laughs> um, hey, that's, like, that's like, Nova and then this oh big God. guy right here. Who's that? Ah, who's that? That's who's that my right there. <laughs> uh, those, are my, those are my babies. Bring your dog to work day today, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> bring your dog to work. So always bring your dog to work, Cleo. Don't worry. <laughs> Honestly, if my, my dream would be that we get this. Uh, once it's because one, I think one of the issues too is the coronavirus. We gotta, we have to invest on some things, and I, I feel like I've, we've discussed this where we have to invest on, on on the podcast and make it better, song quality, things like that. And once we have the ability to get together and start doing yeah. that and doing it, maybe we can focus on doing live. Mm-hmm. Um, because at the end of the day, if we, I have to find some method of sacrifice in order for this to work, and that's yeah. that's I mean, one of that's... the things, but. That's something I've told JP and Los. JP and Los. Los is the other guy that's on here that was original, and then we yep. added. We added. We've been like adding and dropping people. <laughs> we had we had a girl one time. <laughs> but, Just one uh, time. Shouts out to M. But uh, yeah, no, she had her own like life issues too going on. So she yeah, just that was out. another thing because like we were all going through life issues. Like, yeah, and yeah. Then, like and like uh, so then we added JD who I met through a, another Discord community for uh, Texas streamers. Uh, and he's been like, he's been really good. He's been on top of everything. Yeah, now he's starting he's to help me with, with video editing, which is even better. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we, we've been like, like getting people to come on, like, you know, people that I uh, like, I, I find interesting. I want to hear more about from their opinions. Um, yeah. It's just, I, I don't know what to do. Like maybe it's my fault too, or, or like all of our faults. We're not really like looking at like, Okay, we're we're yeah. podcasting, we're doing it, but what else are we we need to do to make it grow? You know what I mean? Or maybe you know what the other thing is too. The other thing is like maybe we just fucking suck, and that's why nobody's listening or watching. <laughs> no, you know, no, fuck no. it. Honestly, that, that, I mean, it, that could be it too. I'm like, well, oh, honestly, well it is what it I'm is. Gonna, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm gonna tell you one thing. I if if the old method we had was working, it actually was working. You talking the about the old... the camera angles? <laughs> Yeah, they were working. No, we had, dude. I, I I had two two DSLR cameras, three actually. Yeah. In getting, and you don't know how bad, like a pain in the ass it was to edit that shit. Yeah. So when somebody was talking, one camera angle. Somebody else, somebody else was talking, another camera angle. And then they went back and forth, angle, angle, angle. And then I had to do all that shit in post. Editing took me about four four and a half hours for just one video. I was like, nah, fuck that. Wow. I'm not doing that shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we could have JD do some of that, and take the, yeah. because that's the re- another reason I want to get PC, so I, I can do that too. Uh, hey, 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 hey. No. <laughs> um, so if, if we could have that, that would be great. Uh, yeah. But I, like I said, it's once we get back together and we start fixing it. I, I, I've already, like, I'm already, I already know what I have to do, and yeah. I'm just trying to see if I, should, like, how, what, what I need, what needs to be sacrificed. Because yeah. I've already talked to the other better mics. It's one of the things that we got to do if we're doing together. Yeah. Um, we need to have some more stuff on the table. He already has a lot of his stuff, but we got to start bringing some our more stuff. And then mm-hmm. there's, I got to start having some equipment here. Lowe's has to have some equipment there. So it's, it's a lot of things, but like, the one thing that I see is that look, we're still trying. I think that's always important. Yeah. As long as we continue, like, even though, you know, we have life events, but as long as I'm here or Los is here and I'm not here or, or you know, whatever, as yeah. long as we have the main core, because a lot of it has been Elias. I'm not even going to lie. We, we wouldn't be where we are right now if it wasn't for Elias. Yeah, at it's, all. It's, it's we tr- it's and, like, we got to get the advertiser now. Like, we used to. I don't know if oh, you told yeah, them any other. We, we used to advertise to. on Facebook. That shit was bananas. Like, it was like the way they do the, their advertisement on Facebook is weird. Like, you put in $20 and, like, they have, like, a, like, a, like, a, like, like, oh, $20 will guarantee you like 20,000 views on your post. 
And like literally, yeah, they'll take the money little by little as they reach that number. You know what I mean? Like every yeah. week or every day, whatever it is, like they reach a hundred people, we'll take however much money it is for a hundred people, and then so on and so forth. I was like, why is it? Why did they keep taking my money? <laughs> like it's like little by little. By, we, but then I started to understand how it works. I'm like, oh, pff, duh. Yeah, and it goes to Instagram too because obviously they're owned by Facebook. But uh, well, there might be. There might be some some advertisement for you right there, Jay. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Jay, uh, I was gonna ask you. Uh, okay, so let's let's close this out, Jay. What okay. what did you what do you what are you doing not today but tomorrow in terms of you as a person and streaming? Like you don't have to give us a whole eighteen month plan. Just give me a little bit. You no, know, let me let me write some of this down. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Um... I, so, so tomorrow I am streaming, so that's pretty cool. So I, <laughs> for everyone and anyone, I, I'd say definitely a schedule is is massive. There's so many new streamers that I meet um, that say oh, I don't I don't have a schedule yet because you know I don't need one. Yeah, yeah. Um, as one of the biggest <laughs> takeaways I took from, like I said to you, I I decided to stream in November, but I didn't start until January. And my two months of research was have a schedule because if you even have one follower, they know when to come back to you. Mm -hmm. Um, so. You know, I definitely keep that. If I haven't changed that, I've added one day since January. Um, but apart from that, what am I doing to grow? So I've got some uh, subscriber benefits coming out, which will give people that have subbed to me um, those wonderful people I have. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, something else. Another reason. You know, because they get emotes on Twitch, but we've got a of couple course. of things in the pipeline that are coming out. Um, we're also starting to focus on growing some new streamers. Uh, in 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 Clear's Cookie Jar, our, our Discord, because we want to. I, I want to be able to support people that uh, I would have loved when I'd started out. You know, I'm not mm -hmm. saying that everyone's gonna get it. I'm not gonna say yeah. everyone's gonna hit partner if they're with me. Um, but they but I, mm -hmm. I want. I yeah yeah definitely. They will. Um, <laughs> I, I want them to be able to, to grow. You know, and I want to yeah. be able to give them the opportunity. And then um, as I was I was talking to you before the uh, podcast is we're releasing a merch tour this week, which is going right. to be super cool, mm -hmm. um, oh, wow. which is obviously fully around, uh, around my dog, obviously, because it's, you know, she's my brand. But some of the <laughs> stuff that's coming out is Work hard. super we cool. Are. <laughs> Good Work job, hard. Yeah. Work hard. She better get, um, be getting some delicious treats, bones, uh, yeah. Flame, flame yeah, she, she, she does. That's why she's putting on weight. She gets too uh -oh. many treats. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> I know that struggle. Um, but, but no, no, for real, that is, that, that is it. I'd say just the schedule is the biggest thing. I, like, yeah. the schedule and, and uh, social media. I think too many of you make mistakes on Twitter that they uh, they have, like, a gaming account. All of us, like, do this. Don't see it as a gaming account. See it as a business account. And see, would, uh, you know... For the American guys, would you would Walmart, the CEO of Walmart, post his or her opinions on the Walmart page? They 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 wouldn't. They post about Walmart shit. Like mm -hmm. so, if you if you want to go and you know have a go at whoever for saying something on Twitter, make your own Twitter account. Don't do it on your gaming account because it affects your brand. You know. Oh yeah, that's smart. Um, well, and <laughs> well, well oh, the only you thing know, this guy likes oh, it's uh, TOS sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's it's and you and you, JD. I see, man, dude. I sometimes I'm at work and I open up Twitter. I'm like, oh fuck, I gotta scroll through this shit real fast. Like, what the hell? <laughs> about to get me fired. Um, but then apart from that, when when you do get followers, just make your chat engaging. Mm -hmm. um, I spent a long time talking to myself with no viewers. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, it was weird. You know, I, I have some actually, conversations I, 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 with myself. Actually, yeah, yeah, I see that. It, it was weird, but honestly, it's good practice too. Like, uh, it's yeah, good, it's, and, good it's, it's massive practice. Going. And when there's people there, it's not weird for you. No, but make not, the chat yeah. engaging. You know, if for example you are playing a game that takes a lot of your concentration, whack some chat games in there. You know, people people find it enjoying, and and sometimes I've had people say to me, like, dude, I've not watched your stream for like twenty minutes. I've just been like gambling cookies. I'm like, that is fine. Like, if you want to come yeah. and just sit in my channel and gamble some cookies, you, you, you do that. You know what? You know? I do I do have, like, channel points for my giveaway stuff. And, like, yeah. this past week, like, not this weekend. It was last week that we did the giveaway. But this past week, um, oh, our, my mods were doing the raffles for the points. And I was like, why are you doing the raffles? You know, we don't have any uh, giveaways going on right now. And then I, like, and then I thought about it. I was like, fuck. I'm like, Jay does it. This other streamer, her name is Heather. Uh, she does it. 
I'm like, dude, I should be doing that. And it's so engaging, like for people like who are hanging out and just chatting and like not really paying attention to the game. Yeah, yeah, for, definitely. Like, um, it it just makes people and I give them another reason, and you can personalize right. all of it. So all of mine are like, you know, rather than being points, it says cookies. Right, right, right. right. And uh, you know, just to give you like a general insight of how how much people like it, my number one and two at the moment are on 2.3 million and 2.7 million and we restart ours every month (laughs) oh you restart them yes so that's just been earned in june and uh you know if i scroll down uh to like 10th place 10th place still has half a million cookies so it's (laughs) there's a lot of you know when you follow me you start with you start with a thousand you know i'm not dropping like a hundred thousand you start with one thousand cookies yeah 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 (laughs) <laughs> um so yeah no it's definitely that that's super engaging like someone new will come into the chat you know like you said you come in you'll be like what is everyone doing yeah I'm like, i feel like i feel like shit? i should be doing this why am i not doing it yeah like honestly i'm looking at my stats now <laughs> i have somebody at thirty one thousand. that's the highest but that's because the other thing is too is like my thing is only because some of these games like some like i said we do the giveaways for again yeah. going back to ghosts Ghost of Tsushima, that game came out in the middle of the month. So I, I yeah. don't I don't I don't I don't feel like I don't have the luxury to give them to restart my points and then like and then uh have them use the same points to buy tickets into the entry. So because I, I'm charging like five hundred points per ticket and you can get up yeah. to ten tickets. So I'm like, well, if I do that, and then I'm gonna have to figure out the fucking math to like come bring it back down, make sure they get, they have enough points to enter at least at least five times. So or buy five tickets. So I, I honestly, I just need to sit down and do that. Do that too, dude. Because I'm, I'm in, like I'm saying, dude. Like a lot of the things you're doing, I, I need to take notes, make sure, <laughs> and get to it, dude. Because I'm like, I, I mean, like you, I want to grow too on on streaming. Like I, that's why that's why I stopped doing videography. I used to do videography. Like I saw it wasn't working. Uh, I was yeah. doing uh, like uh, I did a small doc. Like I, I literally did a small documentary with with this band. Um, in like oh lord we re- recorded everything <laughs> uh we did interviews and like we finished it and uh we put it together and i hated it <laughs> i was like <laughs> this fucking thing sucks like i hated it but anyways like so i stopped doing that and now i see that twitch is working but I, I feel too like it's getting kind of stale. That's why I'm having this idea to change my background. I'm not going to use the green screen anymore. I'm going to use some RGB lights. So I was telling you on on Discord, and I don't know. I don't. Uh, uh, hopefully it works out. Hopefully it works out for you as well. Like I'm, I'm, I'm continuing to see yeah. you rise, dude. Super, like you know, work hard and keep work going. Hard. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, force your girlfriend to do it too. <laughs> But uh, no, let, we, let me let me just. It. We've been doing that work hard since we started. <laughs> oh my god, work hard. See, that's that, good though. That term work hard that's came from to... that stupid yeah. uh, show though. What is it called? Terrace House, uh, the Japanese oh, show. Yeah, Terrace House. Work hard, work hard. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch it. They did. I don't. I don't know. But anyways, yeah. uh, dude, let's close this out. I want to say thank you once again to J sixty four. Links to his Twitch channel will be down. Do you have a YouTube channel? You do, right? I do have a YouTube yeah. channel, yeah. Okay, I'll leave that in the link in the description below. But, dude, thank you so much for hopping on. Thank you so much for thank the conversations, you. dude. It was fun. And uh, thank you to JP, I guess, for being here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's like great fun, walk. guys. Like Thanks for having walk. me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> no, yeah, thank you for reaching out, dude, 100%. I literally didn't even think about it, but now I'm like, maybe I should ask more people. <laughs> Wait, hey, we should, do, we, should, we should do a podcast with Jay over some game. It'd oh, be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. All right, we'll plan something out in the future. But seriously, though, thank you so much for hopping on. I really do appreciate you. And, you know, thank you. <laughs> all right, thank yeah, you. Guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out, guys. Thank you so much for everybody watching and listening on all platforms except for Apple and Spotify because it's just video. <laughs> so, but thank you, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. <laughs> Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button. And if you had any thoughts, anything you want to add, please comment down below. We do read all the comments. Down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. The one comment that's there. <laughs> <laughs>